<laughs> hey, good evening. How are you, Quincy? Hey, Tubbs, how are you doing, buddy? Jamaica as well. Yeah, I'm gonna spit some bars here. Um, for the people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spit some bars. Next time, of course. You know. Let me just get something going here. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, those on Instagram, um, on Facebook, uh, YouTube. In, in, in London, it is getting um, very summery, I must say. Um, the weather is looking very lovely. Um, it's really good. I can feel the, the, the pangs of the, the summer coming through, which is really great, really fantastic, you know. Um, at one point, somewhat even felt like I was in Jamaica, which is really crazy, ladies and gentlemen. How can I feel like I'm in Jamaica in the UK? But anyway, yep, that's how I felt at one point today. You know? But I want to talk about um, a very interesting topic today. And it's simple. It, it's, it, it's very funny that uh, this particular topic um, where there's no life which has been lost no sort of physical harm or so but somehow it is taking up a level of attention and it is a topic that i did not want to actually delve into i didn't want to talk about it actually because i consider many things as distractions um in this time there are many distractions which are out there and we've just got to be mindful of these distractions but i had to touch on to the justice smollett it's all the way in the united states of america but I believe there are also a message and there are lessons that need to be learned and also some of the emphasis that people put on and I'll say emphasis on and this is it celebrities emphasis on people that we do not know emphasis on people that we don't know Jack we don't know their lifestyle we don't know anything about them but we see them and they they come on to the television wave, they come on to the, the newscast, they come on to the media, uh, they are fed to us, and then all of a sudden, they become role models, they become mentors, they become persons which is put in high esteem. So when they fall, or if they fall, or if they fall short, which everybody will, it's a sad day, it's a doomed day, you know? And that is something that I want to talk about in regard to the, the, the Justice Smollett. That's why I titled this, is he, is he lying, you know, is there something deeper or is it just an isolated issue? I don't know what you say and I'd love to get some sort of feedback and some sort of um, uh, response to that. But I'm not going to stay long, I'm not going to delve into this. 
you know I'm not going to delve into this too deep um but just to see where it goes actually and just to put not even a spin but just a perspective on this particular issue here you know and um yeah so ladies and gentlemen welcome and um those of you can catch me on facebook as well um i thought it was on youtube but it's not on youtube actually but i'll put it on youtube a bit later and we can talk some more so thank you for those who are coming on instagram and those on facebook and let's have a discussion and if anyone who is on facebook and want to come on to the live as well i love to hear your views as well but i just go for it as much as possible so so yeah so so that's 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 the story we got it and uh welcome to the late one with silver um my last show i spoke about what did i speak about i spoke about the gang of oh, sorry, the gang of seven became the gang of eight and now the gang of um 11 the defectors from the mainstream political parties in the uk that is something which is going on that is something which is churning and i'll keep talking about it but i wanted to just drift over into the united states of america this is black history month as well in the united states of america some people value black history month as as nothing really just another day every day really should be black history month i'm um, in the uk we have october in the united states we have 12 uh, uh, in february and many people are actually saying this has become a stain a stain on black history month this has actually set us back many years and i asked the question many times how has this become a stain on black history month how has this set us back how has this affected the black community has it affected the black community is it just an isolated issue what is that level of emphasis and that is something which we want to talk about ladies and gentlemen tonight okay so yeah so yeah welcome i'm silburn Sidil, um also of the silburn show and uh as well the um the late one which is my facebook live program which comes on at most nights or so when i feel fit or when you know i try to get into something which is topical not just coming on for coming on sake but something which is topical uh sociopolitical issues and just dealing with it as it goes but let's start with something here and see if we can get this ball going and just set the tone with Jussie Smollett. But this morning, I come to you not only as the superintendent of the Chicago Police Department, but also as a black man who spent his entire life living in the city of Chicago. I know the racial divide that exists here. I know how hard it's been for our city and our nation to come together. And I also know the disparities and I know the history. This announcement today recognizes that Empire actor Jesse Smollett took advantage of the pain and anger of racism to promote his career. I'm left hanging my head and asking why. Why would anyone, especially an African American man, use the symbolism of a noose to make false accusations? How could someone look at the hatred and suffering associated with that symbol and see an opportunity to manipulate that symbol to further his own public profile? How can an individual who's been embraced by the city of Chicago turn around and slap everyone in this city in the face by making these false chalk claims? Bogus police reports cause real harm. They do harm to every legitimate victim who's in need of support by police and, and investigators as well as the citizens of this city. Chicago hosts one of the largest pride parades in the world and we're proud of that as a police department and also as a city. We do not nor will we ever tolerate hate in our city whether that hate is based on an individual's sexual orientation, race, or anything else. So I'm offended by what's happened, and I'm also angry. I love the city of Chicago and the Chicago Police Department, warts and all. But this publicity stunt was a scar that Chicago didn't earn and certainly didn't deserve. To make things worse, 
The accusations within this phony attack received national attention for weeks. Celebrities, news commentators, and even presidential candidates weighed in on something that was choreographed by an actor. First, Smollett attempted to gain attention by sending a false letter that relied on racial, homophobic, and political language. When that didn't work, Smollett paid $3,500 to stage this attack and drag Chicago's reputation through the mud in the process. And why? This stunt was orchestrated by Smollett because he was dissatisfied with his salary. So he concocted a story about being attacked. Now our city has problems, we know that. We have problems that have affected people from all walks of life, and we know that. But to put the national spotlight on Chicago for something that is both egregious and untrue is simply shameful. I'm also concerned about what this means moving forward for hate crimes. Now, of course, the Chicago Police Department will continue to investigate all reports of these types of incidents with the same amount of vigor that we did with this one. But my concern is that hate crimes will now publicly be met with a level of skepticism that previously didn't, occur, didn't happen. That said, Smollett was treated as a victim throughout this investigation until we received evidence that led detectives in another direction. I couldn't be more proud of the unrelenting detective work that went into this investigation, and I couldn't be more proud of every investigator that played a part in it. The detective work that we saw in this case is indicative of the work that our detectives do every day in this city. This case in particular involved hours of video evidence, which when combined with old fashioned police work, uncovered the truth. These detectives deserve all the credit in the world for carefully analyzing the leads and the evidence for weeks before coming to their conclusion. I'd also like to thank the FBI for their help in this investigation. The FBI's partnership with CPD has been pivotal in this particular case. I only hope that the truth about what happened receives the same amount of attention that the hoax did. I'll continue to pray for this troubled young man who resorted to both drastic and illegal tactics to gain attention. I'll also continue to pray for our city asking that we can move forward from this and begin to heal. And now I'd like to call up Commander Edward Watnicki, who personally led this patient and deliberate. <clears throat> okay, so that was the police chief there, um, Chicago police, given their, um, the charges which has been met out to Mr. Smollett, you know. And if, if one can give a, a sort of background to, to this case, and I was actually going through it because it has been something um, which has been in the news, um, surprisingly. And if you notice also, since um, Majid Nawad, Majid, who is the Nawaz, I forget his name properly, um, from LBC, that is LBC in the UK, he was actually beaten up recently um, by, by racists. And as a result of that, even when you look at some of the, um, the, 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 the contents on, on the notes, you see uh, persons actually saying, whether it is true or not that he was actually beaten up or racialized. That is Navid from LBC. And that is what the chief of police actually said. He said, it's very unfortunate that you're having so many attention being given. Hey, David, how are you, buddy? So many attention being given to, to this particular case, whereby the lots of murders and the families of murderers, they are not getting that level of attention. And it's really unfair. Now, I'm not going to do this. This is what I'm not going to do to that. I'm not going to judge Justice Smollett, right? Because there's a presumption in law which one enjoys when one is actually, um, before one is convicted of a crime. The presumption is innocence. So I'm going to presume that he's innocent. I'm going to presume that, give him the benefit of the doubt, even though the evidence is weighing so much against him, right? I'm going to give him the presumption of innocence. And I believe that it is very important that persons give people the presumption of innocence. I'll drop on some of the views from uh, Don Lemon and from Van Jones, 
who gave their views and many persons have been saying from day one I don't believe him uh, from day one I say listen I, I don't know you know I don't watch Empire I, I, I never watch Empire um, for, for particular reasons you know I, I don't watch that show and uh, you know, I'm not interested in it you know but the timeline of this attack was 29th of January 2019 the incident took place Chicago police said they investigated a suspected racist and homophobic attack of Justin renamed Justin by two masked men which happened about 2 a.m. when he's going for some what um, sub they said the actor was punched in the face had an unknown chemical substance poured on him that unknown chemical substance they are finding out now that is is bleach and also um, pouring him on a rope wrapped around his neck. Justice Smollett tell police the two attackers made reference to MAGA, Make America Great Again, the slogan often used by President Donald Trump and his supporters. He goes to a doctor and police describe his condition as good. 30th of January, an outpouring of support from celebrities, right? And I, I, I do recall him a politician because actually Kamala Harris, the new presidential contender, um, but, um, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Coco. Uh, uh, the other guy who name just slipped me a while ago. He actually they came out and said it's a sad day, and they actually put all their support. And then why wouldn't you disbelieve? Why would you disbelieve the guy? The guy is an actor. The guy is, has some influence, whether we like it or not. Um, so they believe him. Stars including Viola Davis, Janela Money, and Ti came out with message of support for the actor. Why not? His Empire co-stars including Grace Bears, Naomi Campbell also show support. Grace Bear said this despicable act only shamefully reveals how deeply the disease of hatred inequality racism and discrimination continue to course through our country's veins empire creator lee daniels i hope lee daniels has given um mr dash's two million back <laughs> post an emotional video on instagram saying holy head up jesse i'm with you comedian steve harvey says this is about coming to the aid of another brother that has tasted the brutality of hatred and racism and bigotry why not i think it is only fair that they come out and they support this gentleman you know why disbelieve him if he's been attacked you know 31st of january the police wanted to get his his um phone to check out all his things who was he talking to to get some bits uh there's a refusal for him to hand over his phone yeah, he said, um, and regarding the police attack, they wanted to confirm details, including the MAGA reference. Because as you know, these days with mobile phones, mobile phones are, are so funny now that mobile phones actually store information, whether you have it even turned on or not. They are smartphones. They're so smart. They're smarter than us. I'm understanding that actually they can actually be listening to you while you're not even thinking that you listen. But my girl, um, what's her name? Um, Siri, Siri is always on the ball, if anything, you know. So a few days later, the police said, he's a victim. We don't treat him like a criminal. They say they won't demand the phone. 1st of February, Justice Smollett speaks for the first time, right? And, um, you know, the actress said he's okay after the incident. In a statement, he said the outpouring of love and support from my village has meant more than I'll ever to be able to, really to be put into words. He added, I'm working with authorities. And I've been 100% factual and consistent on every level. Chicago police also released pictures of two persons of interest they want to speak to. Chief Communication Officer Anthony says the detectives are taking this development seriously. Right? And 2nd of February, he said, I'm the gay Tupac. At a concert that has been planned for a long time, Justice Smollett makes some more comments on the incident. I'm not fully healed yet, but I'm going to say... A reading from a piece of it just because there's been a lot of stuff said about me that's absolutely not true he said I'm the, the lawyer said him I fought back yeah I'm the gay Tupac he finished without explaining what he mean I'm the gay Tupac so therefore there's two aspects which is happening here attack by, by, by virtue of one being race by virtue of one's race and attack by virtue of one's sexuality so it is called a double whammy homophobic and racial and guess what it points now to the the MAGA campaign, points to Donald Trump, and there because everyone knows, and it is out there, that you know, he he, he doesn't like Trump, you know what I mean? So therefore it, it starts to get a bit very sinister in a certain way. So anyway, eleventh of February now, phone records submitted. 
Justice Smollett gives police a PDF file of his phone records after they had originally asked for his phone and he refused. But the files are redacted. Some bits have been covered up. The police said there is no reason to suspect any wrongdoing from Justice and are not looking at charges regarding filing a false report. Right? It went further. Um, persons of interest. Um, police said no reason to suspect anything. The interview he did reveal so much I was waiting for some sort of sin, but his body language. Okay. The, 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 the two people of interest are arrested, interviewed by the police, but not charged and not treated as suspects. They are Obabinjo and Abimbola Asandera, um, brothers originally from Nigeria. They said they're originally from Nigeria, but that is somewhat incorrect because they were born in the United States of America, but of Nigerian ancestry. Right? That is what he said. They are of Nigerian ancestry. Yep. They had workers' empire extras, sometimes going to the gym with the actor, the lawyer said. Some of the items seized from the police raid their home, including a black face mask and an empire script, phone receipt, and a red hot and bleach. Now, you might be wondering why I'm talking about this and I'm all in the UK. Why, why is there a, a level of interest in this program? Why is there a level of interest in Justice Month? I think it is something which is big. I think it is something which is big for the wrong reasons. I believe it is something that actually touch on some key things that we need to really dissect and 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 with, with, with what, what Don Lemon says and what Van Jones says which I will I'll say later actually identify and highlight why there's this level of emphasis on celebrities and how when celebrities fail people actually fall short at the same time because all of sin as they say and falling short of the glory I will reiterate again that I'm not here to judge Justice Smollett. I'm not here to say he's guilty. I'm here to presume, just as the legal system said, there's a major presumption of innocence which he need to enjoy. If anything happened to any one of us, right, and we are accused of anything, there is a presumption of innocence where you go to court and then you'll be tried by your peers or whatever like that, and then you'll be, um, you know, found guilty or not guilty, right? So. He suggested the alleged, and, and this is a bit now which is interesting. I, I know it, it's all pointing. He suggested the alleged attackers were white, saying, "If I had said the attackers was a Muslim or Mexican or someone black, I feel like the doubters would have supported me a lot much more." On his refusal to hand over his phone, he says, "I have private pictures and videos and numbers and dick pics. Sorry, sorry, I didn't say dick pics. <laughs> private emails, my private song, my private voice memos, and speaking through tears." He says. Gay people should learn to fight these kinds of attack. Fair enough. Gay people should learn to fight any attack. Black people should learn to fight any attack. White people should learn to fight any attack. Anybody should learn to fight off anything which is against them. Any level of discrimination, any level of um, unfairness, a need to fight. So that is correct. There is a need to fight. Uh, good evening, Sherma. How are you doing? Lorna, Erdley, and um, Shantia. Good evening. And those on Instagram land, good evening. Thank you for joining. 17th of February, trajectory, trajectory of the investigation has shifted. Yeah, this is what the officer said. While we are not in a position to confirm, deny, or comment on the validity of what has been unofficially released, there are some developments in this investigation, and detective have some follow-up to complete, which include speaking to the individuals who reported the incident. Chicago police said there have been some development in this investigation a day after they released the Osundira brothers without charge. So the two African brothers, or the two Americans of African ancestry, they said they want to speak to the individual reporting the incident, Justice Smollett. The actor's lawyer says in a statement, Justice Smollett is angered and devastated by recent reports that the perpetrators are individual he's familiar with. Well, one of them is his... I think work um, work called partner and they work they, they all play on um, on on empire. They, they they add it's impossible to believe that Osendurus could have played a role to the crime against Jesse, or would false the claim Jesse complicity. It is a twisted, ladies. It is a weave of lies, deceit. As a matter of fact, I think he made it for the big time. I think somebody's going to make a film out of this. It is a bit like run Jesse run. Not just run, run OJ run, run because today after he came out of um, prison um, and with his bodyguards or whatever, I, I see the, the the media is following him. It makes you wonder. It makes you wonder 
why is there this level of attraction to this case? What is it that makes a blow by blow description, a blow by blow activity? What do you think is that? Why is it creating so much attention, right? Justice Smollett is charged by police. And this was now on 20th of February, which is yesterday. He was charged by police. Case update. Justice Smollett is now officially classified as a suspect in a criminal investigation by Chicago police for filing a false report, class four felony. Detectives are currently representing evidence before a Crook County grant. Chicago police said the actress charged with disorderly conduct filing a false report. Early in the day, a report in America obtained footage appearing to show the brothers buying the materials, including ski masks that are allegedly being worn by the people who attacked the actor. Right? This is Charles Demena. He says, I tracked down surveillance of the Ascenders buying supplies before attack. Sources say Justice Smollett told brothers what to buy. Countless phone calls called for this. Visited more stores than wished to admit. Right? Smollett lawyers said they will conduct a thorough investigation and mount an aggressive defense. Anytime there's a law case, anytime someone is um, caught in, in wrong or whatever like that, the first thing is that we will vigorously defend it. There will be an aggressive defense. So what they're doing now is creating an aggressive defense to the whole thing. The rapper 50 Cent, who had previously come out in support of Jussie, posted a picture on Instagram referencing the actor's gay Tupac comment. In the picture, he put Jesse Smollett's face over Tupac on the album cover for All Eyes On Me and changed the album name, All Lies On Me. So, ladies and gentlemen, it, but I want to play this. I want to play something here if, if I get the opportunity to play this. And it is just there in the, the prosecutor reading out some of the, the charges. And, and it is very interesting um, if I can actually find it. I will actually um plate let me see where is it just one moment here let me just find this and i noticed what um someone said a while ago the i was waiting for some sort of sincerity about his body language was very rare. i for one wasn't convinced or moved by his emotional display on the head and on the fence about this one yeah i mean he, he he's I, I would i would say he's a smooth operator you know and and um and and he was looking very very smooth and all those sort of things you know what i'm saying um you know let me just see if i can find this here uh that's that's not the one that's the police there if I can't find it, I'll just move on from that. It's very yeah. Anyway, can't seem to find that. That I was looking for the interview um, when they were reading out the charges there for a second. It's it's um, very interesting. Where is it? Let me see if I can find it. I don't know. Da, 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 da. Anyway, but but what I want to talk about is this now. I want to talk about this. This is um, what they call it, Black History Month in the United States of America, February, Black History Month. And I was speaking to an American and, and they said, this has actually messed up Black History Month, right? This has actually messed up the, the black community in America. And you know, anything that happens in America, it, it's somehow ricochet to a certain extent there's always this saying whenever america sneezes, the world catch a cold or if i'm jamaica they'll say anytime america sneezes, jamaica catch a cold now when i hear uh things like this now I like to say that um this affected the black community i start to ask the question why how has this affected the black community how has the actions of Justice Smollett affected the black community? How has the actions of Justice Smollett affected Black History Month? How has the actions of one man set uh, the, the black community backwards? I'm trying to understand that, you know, because I make that comparison and I, do, I draw this comparison and say, 
there is Jesse Smollett, an actor in Empire, and there there are thousands of great and excellent black people worldwide in America doing fantastic and great things. So why should the failings of a man affect others? Why? And, and I believe one of the reasons why many people have that perception is because we place a level of uh, accolades. We place so much on individuals, especially celebrities, actors. Actors in real terms are fake. <laughs> you know, actors are actors. That's what they're called, actors. They are there reading script. They are there actually, you know, I mean, there are a couple actors that I will actually, um, you know, like Denzel Washington, he can't do nothing wrong. And you know, I'm trying to say, you know, but I do not place that much emphasis on actors, right? And what is happening is now people are placing so much emphasis on celebrities. Now, let's hear what Van Jones says. And, and, and Van, I've got great respect for Van Jones, you know what I'm saying? Um, th this, is, this is what Van Jones says. Van Jones says... Uh, Following the presenter, John, Von Jones acknowledged that Smollett likely staging a hate crime, blaming it on Trump, supporter was the opposite of bringing people together. Now, I, I'm trying to understand what is Justice Smollett done or is doing to bring people together. Is he a voice for black people? Is, is he a civil rights movement or is he just an actor? Doesn't matter whether he's black, whether he's gay or whatever. He's just an actor. Unless someone can say otherwise. What is he? Is he more than just an actor? Is he an advocate for some cause? He said, this is the fall of an icon. Jones asserted. Icon? I don't think people understand how important he has been in the black community. Empire as a show to have him as a beloved character, I think did a great deal to knock back homophobia in the black community. I'm still trying to understand that. If someone can explain that to me, they say it's a fall of an icon. Is he an icon? Who is an icon? An actor? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not putting down um, persons if anything like that. But what I'm trying to say is that the level of emphasis that people place upon actors, upon celebrities. He said that adding that smaller was the Jackie Robinson against homophobia in the black community. I never know that. But then again, I'm not in the States. But but it just but looking from the outside in, maybe that's the reason why this is so big. Jones observed that the level of betrayal seen here is deep. Jones said that if, if the charges are true, the hackers hurt the cause against racism and the cause against homophobia. Now I can see where um he has hurt the cause against racism. Because it is like crying wolf. Because when you cry wolf, you cry wolf and you cry wolf. Then next time when somebody genuinely have a problem, have an issue, then people have questions and doubts. I say, really, is he doing a justice? This is what they're going to say now. Is he doing a justice, Smollett? Is it like even with uh, Mawad Naviz, um, sorry, the gentleman from, from LBC. If you read some of the comments on the, some of the articles where he was beaten up in Leicester Square, people are saying, did he do a justice, Smollett? Did he actually fake it? Who are the two African guys that he actually called to do that? Or the two white persons which he pays to get some level of, what should I say? Sympathy. And that is what. So yes, it can hurt the cause of racism and hurt the case against homophobia because there are two prongs. There are two prongs. One which is the racism aspect and one which is the homophobia. Right? And after saying that, Smollett owes the community a lifetime of atonement. Joan reiterated that this looked like the fall of an icon. What does that mean? The fall of a who? An icon? This is a young man acting a movie called Empire and he's an icon? See, that's a problem. That's a problem. And I'm going to say that's a problem in America at the same time, whereby there's a lot of emphasis on trying to find persons to solve the problem and solve the issues. Right? There are great people out there doing great things. It's like, it's like in the UK, recently, there's been some movement which is called Dope Dads. 
which is a good thing. They're saying black fathers need to step up to the plate and the young guy said 56 dad, call it dope dads. And I was discussing it with someone and I said, why do you call it dope dad? And when I check it out, what is dope? Dope is in jugs and all those sort of things. And of course, I found out that also dope means good. Just like how sick means great. Just like mad means mad men. That is mad. That is sick. Wow, that means that it's good. The word sick has changed. The word mad has changed. The word dope has changed. But then somebody said, Silver, why has it got to be called dope dad? I'm just using an example here. Why is it just be a good dad? Why just be a father? Why just be that? And the point about it is that there are many great persons out there who are fathers. There are many great persons out there who are doing great things. There are many great people who are not seeking an accolades for the thing which are naturally doing what they should be doing. Right? So therefore, calling Justice Smollett an icon, I think that is a slap in the face. Because not because you know what he should be doing is being a good citizen. Person should not be looking up to these, and that is why it becomes a big deal. He said when you talk to people about it, it's a lot deeper than just a hoax. He emotionally include this is something we haven't had someone like him in our community embracing this way we haven't had a show like empire well i don't know empire i don't know what the emotional thing about empire and for him it in fact he has abused his position it is a tragedy and beyond words in our community you see that's the thing again people place positions people place roles upon individuals who may who haven't asked for it footballers out there singers out there or just simply writing a song and just having the time, just writing a song or whatever like that, and all of a sudden, they are now being deemed as role models. You don't know jack about them. You don't know their life. You don't know where they live. You don't know what they're doing. You don't know what they do at night. But yet, at the same time, people have put... put and, this is, and this is the media which is placing it. This is like the Van Jones placing it. This is like the Don Lemon. The Don Lemon said he has lost in the court of public opinion. He has lost in the court of public opinion. Lost what? Right? As a matter of fact, as I said, presumption of innocence should be enjoyed until one goes through the judicial process. You know? So this has got to be delved in and dig deep, you know, because um, as, as the police officer said, families of gun violence are not getting these attention. This is a farce. This is a distraction. This is irrelevant. This is one disturbed man, if anything like that. If it is proven that he created this. He's a disturbed young man. Very disturbed. Right? And and no more, no, there should not be this level of interest and this attraction upon this matter. Because guess what? Let's put it in perspective. There are many great black persons out there doing great things in the communities. They're great, fantastic dads. They're great, fantastic persons. Great, fantastic role models. Persons who are not seeking the accolades and therefore not seeking to get more money by creating, um, what should I say, some distraction because they're not happy with the million dollars which they're getting, if that is the case, ladies and gentlemen. Right? So, so therefore, one has got to place this in proper perspective. This is how I see. I don't know what you see, but I'd love to hear your views on that because that's just what I'm doing. I want to keep this very short and go straight to the point on this because I believe it's a farce. Right? You've got to ask, who is Justice Smollett? Does he represent me? Does he speak of me? Oh, yes. Yes, he's a black person. But guess what? There are many thousands of great and fantastic black persons out there doing great things. Right? Even when they talk about knife crime, just because you've got a, a percentage, a minority, who is actually doing wrong with knife crime and stabbing each other. But then on the other side, there are great and fantastic young people who are out there doing great and fantastic things, great studies in their school, doing got to place this into perspective. Just because you got one guy who is disturbed, that is not a mark of a community. Just because a white person, I mean, you, you've heard the news today, if you're in the UK, a 16 year old boy or whatever, um, um, killed, killed this, killed this girl. Um, uh, uh, um, you know, let, let me, let me, let, let me use this as an example. BBC. Let me find BBC there. All right, on the BBC side, this is what it says. Okay, you got it all over there. Actor stage hoax, attack over salary. Right, 
Where is this the girl? Boy, 16. Guilty. Boy, 16. Guilty. Alicia McPhail murder. Boy, 16. Found guilty. A 16-year-old boy has been found guilty of the abduction, rape, and murder of 6-year-old Alicia McPhail. Her naked body was found on the Isle of Boot after she was reported missing on the morning of the 2nd of July last year. Alicia had suffered 117 injuries and died from insignificant pressure being applied to her face and neck. Right? This is the Isle of Boot. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 16-year-old white boy. Of course, his name is not out there because guess what? Because he's 16. Do you hear white people saying that it's an indictment on the white community? Do they say the downtrend, this has affected the white community? It's an indictment on the white community? No. Let's find another one. Let's find another one. Right? You know? You know? <laughs> you know? There's, there's, there's so many crimes. You know what I mean? Um, you, you, don't, you don't hear that it's an indictment upon the white community. So why should Justice Smollett be an indictment? On the black community why should justice smollett be affect the black community in regards to black history month why should justice smollett um be this icon which icon who's icon let's get this into perspective you and i are icons you and i were doing great and fantastic things are icons right let's get this thing into perspective that's what my views are let's get it into perspective you know let's place this into perspective who is just smollett who is empire we are placing too much emphasis or the media is placing too much emphasis on celebrities. Celebrities, persons that we do not know. They are fake, 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 fake. They are actors. Actors. Now, some people may disagree with me, but if we, don't, if we don't get this into perspective, we will be affected each time. Not me. Your person are going to be affected. We need to place things into perspective, right? If, if we look furthermore, on on um the the jesse case right is it he faced a felony charge of disorderly contact for allegedly filing a false report claiming two men attacked him last month chicago police disport he said charges were approved by the cook county state attorney office and detective will make contact with his legal team to negotiate a reasonable surrender for his arrest right a bail is here and anticipate for 1 30 p.m he got the bail. Ladies and gentlemen, let's not kid ourselves. Let's not fool ourselves. Justice Smollett is not a role model. Justice Smollett is not an icon. Maybe an icon for some, but no way he's not an icon. Let us put that into perspective. You are an icon. You are doing fantastic work. You are a legend who is doing fantastic work, right? You are the one. Not so, you know, we've got to place this in the person. We need to start to elevate ourselves, update ourselves, big up ourselves big time. You know what I'm trying to say? That's what we got to do. Big up ourselves big time. You know? And 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 here that I'm still trying to find something here because I really want to play play this bit here um from when the the, the, the charges were 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 made. I think I've got it. Let me see if I can find it in my history here. And this is when, let me see if I can find it. I think I can find it. Yep. There we go. How Jesse Smollett has further affected the, thank you for prevention. But yeah, but let me hear, let me hear what, what you have to say, you know, because I believe this is going to run and this is going to be run. And it's going to be run, and um, you know, uh, you know, and I know that for for the the right, you know, the the right side of politics in America, they are seeing this as a, a champion because guess what? Many persons have actually been been talking about, uh, been talking about this, and talking about all these different fake charges, you know, char and and saying it's something against Trump. Let me see if I can play this.
The defendant, Jesse Smollett, is an actor and singer-songwriter who currently appears as a character on the Fox television show Empire. Defendant Smollett currently resides in an apartment in the Chicago Struderville neighborhood. The people expect the evidence to show that on Tuesday, January 22, 2019, Defendant Smollett received a written letter at the Sinspace Chicago Film Studios, which is the facility on the southwest side of Chicago where the Empire television show is filmed. This letter contained written threats directed towards Defendant Smollett and contained a then unknown white powdery substance. Wow. The letter also contained cut out letters pieced together which stated, Smollett, wow. Jesse, you will die, black F, and the word MAGA was handwritten on wow. the envelope where the return address typically is located. He wrote himself this a letter. This substance has since been determined to be crushed ibuprofen tablets. The letter also contained a drawing of a stick figure, which appears to have a rope around the neck and a gun pointed towards it. Law enforcement authorities were contacted, and the letter was turned over to the Federal Bureau of Investigation, which is currently conducting forensic analysis of the letter. In January of 2019, and at all times relevant here too, Defendant Smollett was close friends with an individual by the name of Abimbola Abo Asandero, who was 25 years old. Smollett and Abo initiated their friendship in the fall of 2017. During the course of this friendship, Defendant Smollett and Abo socialized together, exercised together, as well as worked on the Fox television series, Empire. What? Within that working relationship, Abel was a stand-in for a character named Kai, who is a love- Well, I don't have to say much more there. I mean, it's, it's all said it right there. Ladies and gentlemen, all I've got to say is, choose who you look up to and choose your role models as much as possible. And um, you have to give him the benefit of the doubt still at the same time, and you've got to um, let him enjoy the presumption of innocence. I know many people have already made their judgment and many say he's guilty or whatever. I think it is pointing towards the fact that he's guilty. However, but let him go through the process. Let him enjoy the presumption of innocence, which is something which is afforded by virtue of the legal system. Okay? And he's going to go through the process. But the most important thing is that he's no icon. Right? He's a disturbed young man. Right? And also, well, that's my presumption. That's my that's my perception, and and um, and and let's place it into proper perspective, and do not give credence just to celebrities for celebrities' sake, right? And just be a good person. Be a, you know, I, I cannot stop saying this that for every one person that has gone down, that somewhat they say affect the black community because of their failings. There are thousands, millions more of great and excellent black persons doing great and fantastic things. Okay? And just because of one person failing, that is not anything to tarnish the black community. That is nothing to tarnish Black History Month for those who believe in Black History Month. That is nothing setting back the black community or homophobic actions or racialism. But at the same time, I do agree with Van Jones where he said, it does and it can set back certain things because people now will start to question when persons make racial um, accusations because they say are you doing a jussie that's what they're going to say are you doing a jussie is he doing a jussie right and all the, the support which is given I've heard Tyler Perry come out who was supporting him and said I've listened to him blah 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 and he's, he deflected into showing two other persons and that is what is happening because people are now trying to say let's take the eyes off of this and why they're saying take the eyes off of this is because they are they're, they're, they are let down and they feel really bad some of the great actors some of the great person they feel really bad and because they really feel bad about this they are saying you know what there's more to life than this we let's focus on those other persons let's focus on those other things you know and they're trying to deflect it but no they actually are some of the perpetrators by default because what they have done, they've elevated persons because of vertical. They're movie stars, they're actors, they're fake. You know, even Tyler Perry. I don't mind Tyler Perry, great guy, but I don't like movies or shows with men dressed like women. That's just me, personally speaking. You know, so therefore, I do not give much credence. I do not give much oompa or whatever to. Um, to uh, uh, celebrities um, dressed as women or whatever like that. It's all about the money. You know what I mean? 
it's all about the money ladies and gentlemen so let's not kid ourselves right and i don't be surprised if lee daniels or whatever create a movie out of this they're actually sorting out the rights to this right now right they're creating the right who knows it could have been orchestrated what do you think could it have been orchestrated who could have orchestrated it could have been it may be what can i say right so ladies and gentlemen i want to thank you so much for coming on tonight those are my views i'm keeping it simple and keeping it real because what i like to do is to hear people's comment and of course you know you know you know just put this up as well on youtube whatever so people can give their views as well but i'm not going to spend much time on it. there's so much more things happening in life let's put that justice bit to one side bam and call it a day you know all right so have a good night and uh, let me hear your views those on facebook those on instagram and i'll put this on youtube have a smashing and great day and remember there's nothing that can deflect the whole process not a jesse right don't let that be a deflection that is just a distraction ladies and gentlemen there's great and fantastic things that persons are doing out there let us not kid ourselves and let us not be fooled by all this charade and all this foolishness it is utter foolishness and stupidity simple as that there's greater things to happen right now there's an election which is pending in america right now there's brexit is happening and stuff like that let's keep the focus because there are many distractions which are out there thank you have a good night and peace out.